Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to execute an SSIS package from a store procedure or maybe from a SQL query. So let's jump to the demo. So I have this particular SSIS package which simply loads data from one of the flat file into a SQL server table. So the table name is emails which is situated in the SSIS database. Currently there is no data in this emails table. However, when the SSIS package will run, so it will populate 1000 number of records into this particular table. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do to execute an SSIS package from the SQL script or from a store procedure is that we need to create a SQL job. So right now my SQL server agent service is stopped. So if this is the case, then you can just so this click yes. So this will start the SQL server agent service on your machine if it was not already running. And in case it is it was running, then it's fine. So you can just expand the SQL Server agent, expand jobs, and right click and create new job. So here you can um, you can give any name like run SSIS package, and under the steps you can click on new, and then you can give any name to the step name like run SSIS package, and from type you can select the SQL Server Integration Service Package and then under Package Source you can select File System or if your packages are on the SSIS catalog so you can select that one as well. So now just copy the full path of the SSIS package from here and then just provide the path here click OK. OK. So our SQL job has been created. I have not created any schedule because I don't want the job to be executed on ongoing basis. I just want to run it on ad hoc basis. So if you go back to the SQL Server Management Studio, so this job has been created. Now to execute this particular job, you need to write use msdb, then go, and then you need to write exec sp underscore start job, and and then you can give the name of the job. So uh, you can just copy the name from here and. Uh, yeah that's it so I will just execute this particular query so you can see job run SSIS package started successfully so it is also showing the completion time as well so if you check the data now so we have data in this particular table so it means that the job ran successfully yeah that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button and do subscribe to our channel to see more videos on SSIS and SQL Server thank you so much